Hey Virgo, this is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. We're going to see if you resonate with Virgo and Capricorn today. Uh, feel free to watch all the readings if uh, you are affiliated with, with affiliated with any of the other any of the other signs. Okay, I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis. If this is something that you all want to see, depending on the viewership. Okay, let me know if this is something that you want to see. Virgo dealing with all the other signs. I think that you're rising out of conflict with something or someone here. We have the Six of Wands, the Sun of Pentacles. And we got the star. Not seeing their full full potential here. That means to let some things go. Maybe this is something that you've been telling this Capricorn. Or maybe caught up with the wrong kind of people, the wrong web of, of uh, you know, just not being around people who really support the glory of their good or something. We're going Capricorn. What are the messages? They, this person could do better. Okay. And you're telling this person you can do so much better. It's not like you are condemning the people that they hang around, but the people that they're hanging around are truly not good for them. Okay. Uh, and birds of a feather flock together. You don't want this person to fall down the wrong with fall in with the wrong crowd. Okay. Uh, and they're they're very creative though. This person is very logical and they know what it is that they that they need to do, but they just don't. They're possibly in school. Maybe this person needs some guidance, and this is all you're trying to do. Um, yeah, but it's kind of hard for this person to remain positive. They're feeling like like they're in a dark place. Okay. Uh, I kind of feel like this this Capricorn here is possibly uh really hard on themselves. They possibly don't think that they're worthy, but you're trying to show this person that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You've been through a lot, okay? This person possibly got addicted early in life um, with some people, uh, possibly doing some dark magic, Hang, kind of like hanging around, and I'm not saying gothic people are bad or anything like that, but they're hanging around people who can do damage to themselves and others by, by the company that, that they keep, by what they're doing inside of that group. It's not that they are bad, but... Um, I, you're trying to make this person see, you know, that that you are better than this. And I'm not saying that they're better. They're better than this person, but they're a better class of people. I, I, don't, I don't want to make it seem like I'm downing people who are uh, who practice certain things. Uh, I see some devil devil worshiping here. Um, this person could be doing that. There's some issues too around maybe ghost hunting or something, maybe even using a Ouija board or something, but doing that, but making sure if there's something that they're wanting to do, there's, we can't change it. We can't control people, but you want, you know, it's like, you don't condone, you don't condone it. You don't, you can't stop this person from doing the things that they want to do, but, but you want them to do something different. You know what I'm saying? You want them to live a different kind of life. You can't make them, you can't make them, you know, but you're trying to inspire new ideas in this person's life so they can see that there's something better. You don't want these people or the, the things that they're doing to hold them down and to keep them stuck, you know, and they know. And, and it's like, you know, they need to let it go. OK, the energy around this Capricorn is serious, materialistic and hardworking. It bestows uh, shrewdness and cautious ambition. So they're ambitious, but there's some people that's trying to hold them back. But what they're doing is holding them back. So I kind of feel like this person, you know, they have high potential for themselves. But if they continue to do what they're doing with these people, it's just going to wreck everything. And they need to figure out a way to get away from these people. You know, the darkness, the, the darkness is what's kind of like tales from the dark side. You know, it's so many different stories. There's so many things that can happen good, but there's so many things that can happen bad if this person doesn't get out of this energy. Okay. They need, they need to let it go. They need to break ties with these people, you know, change this pitch, these people transition into the light, you know, because I think that whatever they're doing is, is, is the people that they're hanging around, I think are, are harsh influences on this person. On your person, this Capricorn, and they need to find a way to let it go. But every time they get ready to go, they pull them right back in. They try to drag them right back into doing whatever it is. And maybe they're drawn on their own accord. Maybe they're drawn because of the drugs and the alcohol, the addictions that they have, but they need to let it go. Okay. Because it's doing nothing but wearing them out, wearing them down. The darkness is 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 taking them down, and you don't want that. I just saw four, four, four. Okay. And we have here the Ten of Cups. And, and the family loves them. But I kind of feel like this person possibly is drinking a little bit too much as well, you know. But they're tied to so many people, good and bad. But they, though they don't, they don't see the bad in the people. 
they just see the good. So they feel like what they're doing is okay. They're not doing anything wrong. They're not doing anything bad. And possibly they're not. But the company that they're keeping possibly is um, influencing them to do some things that they shouldn't be doing. Okay. Especially with what I'm hearing with the occult, with um, worshiping, the devil worshiping, all of that stuff, pentagrams. Um, kind of like, it's just the evil is not nice. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. The, the energy is not nice. Okay. Um, so I pulled a card for advice. I'm pulling a card for advice on all of these readings, the one I have for you here. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. So now you're leading this person in the right direction. You want them to think differently about the company that they're keeping. That's all. And you're just shining a light on the path for them. You're not trying to tell them what to do. You're not begging them because they're going to do what they want to do. They're going to always march to the beat, their own, beat of their own drum. And they're very seldom will they listen to yours. But at the same time, you're just trying to lead them in the right direction. That's all. All right. Because whatever they're doing, ugh, it's not, it's not kosher. It's not kosher. All right. Talk to you later.